Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Chris Profi, musically obsessed with vinyl CDs and cassettes. Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Oh yeah! All right, so today I want to talk about alternate album covers. And I've always thought this was so cool. And you guys know if you're a collector of physical music, um, covers differ every once in a while. And a lot of times it's like a UK cover versus a US cover. Sometimes there's a remaster or a reissue of an album. So the CD might have different cover artwork than the original album did. Uh, sometimes there's controversial artwork that needs to be changed. So I wanna show you a few albums here that uh, are in my collection that have alternate covers. So the first one I wanna talk about is um, Elton John's album, Empty Sky. Now this was originally released in the, in the UK in 1969. This was the UK cover, all right? Now America did not see this until around 1975. And the reissue that the United States had was this cover, which is uh, pretty cool, The Sphinx. I saw this at a local record shop and I was like, all right, I need to pick that up. So you have the UK original cover and then you have the US cover that wasn't pressed until 1975. So there's Elton John's Empty Sky. Uh, Pink Floyd, one of my favorite albums by them is entitled Relics. Now, there's a few different covers for this. This is the original UK cover artwork. And this is, it almost looks like a time machine. And it's, it's a drawing by drummer Nick Mason. All right, so that was the UK cover. Black and white, a drawing by Nick Mason. This was the cover that I was familiar with. This was the US reissue of Relics. I always thought that was so creepy with the mask with four eyes, okay? And then in 1996, they took that original Nick Mason drawing and they turned it into a 3D model of that machine. So this was the original artwork and then they did a colored 3D image of that, which I thought was pretty cool. So that was Pink Floyd Relics. Next, let's get into the metal realm. Judas Priest, their album, Point of Entry, which is underrated, by the way. You have the UK cover, which is literally just like a, a, a point in the sky. And I don't know, is it the part of the wing of the plane? Is it a UFO? I'm not sure. Is it vapor dust in the sky? And then you have the US cover that is, it's kind of hard to see in this, but it's computer paper that goes out to the desert, probably to match the song Desert Plains. Very different. Judas Priest, point of entry. And then lastly, I want to talk about the Bee Gees, their 1968 album, Idea. Now, this was their fifth uh, studio album. The UK cover, and these covers are completely different. The UK cover looked like this, which makes sense. A light bulb, Bee Gees, Idea. That's the UK cover. And then the US cover was a little bit more psychedelic. All right, so this isn't everything in my collection, but I, again, as a collector, I find it interesting. And this is where we get into the situation of owning multiple copies of certain albums. And a lot of times I will own multiple copies, obviously, if it's a different cover. Do you guys have different covers of albums in your collection? What do you think of alternate covers? Do you a lot of times like the UK version or the US version better? Um, let me know in the comments below. All right, everyone. Bye.